you connect to the net, right? Well, I wouldn't if I were in your shoes. Hey, um, Rainbow Cadenza mean anything to you? Oh no, another one. Aren't you too young for this? To what now? Every day, some sad grandpa in his old leather comes in here, asks where is his old Rainbow Club. And I'm like a broken record. Tell all of them the corp brought them out 20 years ago. I should put up a sign. Know anything about any bootlegs from the Rainbow Cadenza days? Like, say, I don't know, uh, samurai stuff? The samurai. Samurai. Oh, that ugly red face on black? Yeah, even I know that one. Old guy comes by here some.
sometimes wearing their shirt. Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. You wouldn't happen to know where I could find him. You can find him living back in the 2020s. <laughs> but besides that, he's out there at the market. Hey, you there. Yes, I'm talking to you. What's he selling? Organic strawberries and cream. What do you think? He sells ancient dusty tapes of ancient dusty indie bands. No one's heard of a single one of them. Green. Thanks. Hey. Hey, I'm looking for some good tunes. Got any laser pop? Something from us, Cracks? Don't sell no scop here. You either want good music or rainbow bright shite. Chill, Chum. It was just a joke. <laughs> laser pop? Fucking laser pop? Here? At my stand? I heard I can get some decent tunes here. What you mean by decent? We got Cartesian Duelist, Urdine Stuff, Tainted Overlord. Any samurai? <laughs> you did. You even gotta ask? Never fade away. Dancing with my axe, chipping in, you name it, we got it. Silverhand was the one true messiah of rock. I'd hand them records out like candy if I could. But a guy's gotta eat. I see I found Silverhand's biggest fan. And proud of it. Today's bitty box rockers can't even touch him. Silverhand had something they couldn't even dream of. Uh, a Silverhand? He had that fire, kid. Fire! Guy shook the foundations of the corporal world. He died for his ideals. Doesn't matter, he was also kind of a terrorist. Blaze way down the rebel path. I'm looking for the real deal. Like, say, bootlegs from Samurai's first gigs. Fuck. First, you have got no idea what you're asking for. Not if you're so, so chilled about it. Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs, but forget it. I'm not gonna give them to the first gunk off the street. I used to uh, come here back when it was still Rainbow Cadenza. Bootleg sure would make a nice souvenir of the good old days. Cut the scop. You're too young to remember the first samurai gigs. Weren't even a twinkle in your daddy's Kuroshis. Hey, appearances can be deceiving. How do you know this pretty face ain't an implant? All right, punk. Prove it. How'd Samurai's third ever gig end? Johnny, my dear expert, help me chill out. I need a quick rundown of Samurai trivia. Yep, third gig. Remember it like it was yesterday. Set my axe on fire, then smashed it on the stage. Crowd went wild. Well, can't wait all day. Easy. Johnny lit up his axe, then smashed it. Nope. Knew it. Who smashes their gear when they're just starting out? I mean, a new one costs eddies. Fucking hell, Johnny. Why sabotage? Why now? Because it's funny. Because I'm bored. Maybe I don't like the cut of your conformist jib. You always freeze up like this? Played our third gig at Cadenza. Little fire broke out. Some drunk gonks tried to put it out with beer. Denny's fro got singed. Wore a wig for a few weeks. Never did get herself any tech hair. Uh, let me think. There was a fire. Remember those gonks who tried putting it out with beer? <laughs> I almost forgot. Heard Johnny started it, actually. Tossed a cig that was still glowing. <laughs> Bullshit. That cig was Carrie's, no doubt. But hey, any trouble's Johnny's fault. Still don't believe you were there. But what the hell? Only a real fan can know something like that. Hey, anyways, gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Gone. 
Have at it. Appreciate it. Take it. Spread the good silver hand word. Death to corpus. You know they say time is the best teacher. Used to think that was true. But look at that guy. Sixty at least, but still living in 2020. Guy's your biggest fan. You're not happy to meet him. Blue Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there, just the same. Don't want people getting stuck in a rut, stuck in the past. Want them to change, them and the world. You want to force them to change. Well, you can't just blow them up like the tower. But music's the answer? Here's what happens. Grandpa knows every damn word, doesn't understand a single one. You'd rather massacre a bunch of people, then. And the average Janes and Joes. Maybe they don't want to change. It's their choice. You want to take that away from them? They might be bums who play see no evil. Might be blind idiots. They need to wake the fuck up. Guess jury's still out on the how.